At the Black Cockatoo Conservation Centre, we aim to uh, conserve black cockatoos through the rescue, rehabilitation and release of black cockatoos back into the wild. Other areas that we conserve these black cockatoos is the revegetation of habitats. So we are trying to actively um, plant trees to create further habitat for these species when we release them into the wild. We also educate the community, so we take our black cockatoos out into the community um, to teach school kids and other community groups how important these birds are and why it is important to conserve them. And one further thing that we're doing for black cockatoos at the moment is we're facilitating research into these species as well. The Carnivis cockatoo is an endangered species because it's undergone a huge population decline of over 50% in the past 50 years. The Carnivis cockatoo occupies a huge portion of the southwest of Western Australia. Um, historically, it was found from Kalbarri all the way down to Esperance. Um, since then, its range has uh, reduced um, quite significantly and it relies heavily on the wheat belt areas for breeding. Each year the Carnaby's cockatoo returns to the, the wheat belt to breed and given that we've cleared such a significant portion of its habitat in the wheat belt, it's under a lot of stress at the moment. It's absolutely vital that we create habitat for the Carnaby's black cockatoo in Western Australia if we're going to ensure its survival into the future. Uh, we have got community groups out there that are putting in artificial nesting hollows out in community wheat belt areas. And another, another area that we can assist the Carnaby's black cockatoo is through the revegetation of habitat because this habitat is extremely fragmented. We really need to go out and we need to start planting trees and trees like the salmon gum woodlands and the wandu woodlands that are really important to provide nesting hollows for these species. These trees can take up to anywhere up to 100 years to produce an adequate nesting hollow for a Carnaby's black cockatoo, so it's really important that we start now and we act now to plant these trees. The Karakan Black Cockatoo Conservation Centre really does need the help of every, um, everybody out there in the public. You can assist these birds uh, by planting native trees in your own backyard to support native uh, bird species. Some of the trees, if you have a big area, you can plant a Mary tree, which is really um, a significant species to feed black cockatoos. But if you don't have a big backyard, you can plant some of the smaller hakea species. Um, another way that you can assist us is um, providing your time to volunteer at our centre and help us with our activities that we do here. Or you can go onto our website and you can look at um, providing us with a financial donation because we're a not-for-profit group and we rely heavily on um, donations and the time of our volunteers. Carbon Neutral supporting the Black Cockatoo Conservation Centre because the Carnaby Cockatoo is a, a threatened species. It's losing its habitat. So we, through our our donors and our clients are doing a small planting this year and again some next year to help create through our trees a feed source for, for the cockatoos. There's strong environmental co-benefits from tree planting to create offsets so we're creating habitat for wildlife, we're um, linking up our tree planters, we're linking up remnant veg, we're helping with land degradation through soil and water erosion. We're helping minimise salinity. And there's also social, economic co-benefits working with the local community. So there's a lot of our clients uh, can buy offsets from many different sources, but for us, it's the, the environmental co-benefits that really appeal to, uh, to businesses and, uh, and individuals. When you help Saving Green make a contribution to Carbon Neutral to plant a tree, it's so much more than simply planting a tree. It's biodiversity planting, and that means that you're helping create a home for our native wildlife, including our endangered black cockatoo.